I wake up at 4.48 a.m. fully dressed, then I brush my teeth, and I pick which watch I'm going to wear for the day. Pro tip, always wear the douchiest watch. Then I yell at myself in the mirror, and I'm out the door by 5.10 a.m. What's up, y'all? Attorney Tom here. So that was a joke. That is not what my mornings look like at all. Here is what they really look like. My morning routine is actually pretty easy. I wake up between 6 and 6.30 a.m. Most of the time by my cats. Then my cats need attention, brush my teeth, wash my mouth. I use Listerine yellow mouthwash so you know I don't play around. Then I wash my face because nothing says successful lawyer like adult acne. Then I get dressed, usually in a jeans and polo because I own my own law firm and I can wear whatever the hell I want to work. Then between 7 and 8 a.m., I'm working at my home office, answering emails, taking phone calls. My phone starts ringing around 7 a.m. I then say goodbye to my cat, and I'm on my way to my office around 8 a.m. And to touch on the wardrobe thing a little bit more, there are some lawyers who like to wear suits or dress up every day. That's just not me. I do wear suits. You have to wear suits if you're a lawyer. There's no getting around it, but... I only wear suits when I have to, so when I'm going to court, whether it's trial, a hearing, or if I have to do something formal, like take a deposition, or sometimes meet a client. I actually like meeting clients in street clothes because so much of forming a attorney-client relationship is understanding and knowing what your client is about, who they are as a person, their type of personality. And that comes back to you as well. They need to know what you're about, what kind of person you are. Will there be a personality conflict? So I like to present myself to clients how I am in the everyday. I then film between 8.30 and 10 a.m. Once I'm done filming, I give the footage to my editor, Matthew. I then spend the next 90 minutes writing emails, conducting discovery, and talking a whole bunch on the phone. Then around 11.30 a.m., I go and check on my staff and what do you know, they have me jump on a phone call. Matthew then pulls me over to read some funny slash mean comments on my YouTube channel. Now it's time for lunch. There's a cafe on the first floor of my office building. I get unsweet iced tea because I'm not an animal. That's good that they have a wet floor sign because they know I will sue them any chance I can get. I then take the vegetable fried rice back up to my office and I eat it in the lobby and I contemplate why I spend so much money on office space every single month. And y'all think I'm kidding, but I'm really not. Over two years ago when I started my law firm, I thought that it would be really important to have a nice office space, to have a nice lobby. So when clients met me, they would say, oh, this guy is legit. He has his own office. It's a nice office. That office is actually about 3,000 square feet and it's very expensive. If I could do it all over again, I would probably have a 300 square foot office, literally one office, or maybe not even an office. Work from home has been very adequate. And here's a pro tip, clients never wanna to come to the office. They wanna do everything by phone, email, Zoom, phone call. And it cost me like 4,500 bucks a month. I'm in a five year lease, so do that math. I then check on my team after lunch. Matthew makes me do a voiceover. Then I conduct discovery, answer emails, and talk on the phone until I get tired. And around 5 o'clock today, I decided to leave. And to be totally transparent with y'all, the days drastically vary, especially when you're in litigation and especially when you own your own law firm. In this particular day, I didn't have a deposition, have a hearing, didn't have any pressing discovery due. There are some days where I can leave at 3 p.m. or 2 p.m., but there are also days where I have to stay until 9 p.m., 10 p.m., until midnight. There are some days where it's so busy I can't make content for weeks. So this was just the day I could film, not the day I decided to film, but the day I could film. If I get better at filming or planning, maybe I can do a day in the life of a more hectic day, like maybe a day when we're doing a deposition or we're going to court. But, you know, obviously when you're really, really busy, the last thing you want to think about is filming. I then get home, see my cats, change, get my girlfriend, and we go to the gym around 5.30. The first thing I do at the gym is play basketball. Luckily, I never miss in front of a camera. My girlfriend and I then rode a kilometer, stretched, and then ran half a mile. I absolutely hate running. After we got home around 7 o'clock, I changed and went to dinner with two lawyers. I get home around 9 p.m., and at this point in the night, I have three options. Hang out with my girlfriend, go back to work, or... 
make content, and I picked play Rocket League. I was just kidding, kind of. I then hang out with my girlfriend and we go to bed around 11 p.m. So that was a day in my life, work, gym, eat, sleep, pretty basic. I love what I do. I'm very lucky, at least for me, the type of law that I do doesn't require billable hours, so I don't keep track of my time. I just have to be organized and make sure I get all the work done that needs to get done. And uh, yeah, as long as that happens, the days can fluctuate wildly. And again, if you follow my channel, you know I'm investing into my law firm. All the money I make goes back into my law firm. I'm growing my law firm. What wasn't shown on this video is we actually, about six months ago, opened up an office in Louisiana. Our headquarters, this office, where I am right now, I'm at my house right now, is in Houston, Texas. So we have a law firm in Houston, and we have an office in Lake Charles, Louisiana. So my life is pretty crazy. <laughs> it's so lame. Hi, I'm Ryan, and my life is kind of crazy. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please make sure you hit that like button, shamelessly asking you, and leave any questions, comments, concerns down below. Also, I'm going to continue doing a react series. What videos y'all want me to react to? I'm going to react specifically probably to other YouTube videos, not movies or TV shows, other YouTube videos. So let me know in the comments what YouTube videos y'all want to see me react to. All right, see y'all later.